we are gathered around our lovely Range Rover Evoque. And we are gonna take it apart today and we are doing something that we got no idea how to do. So join us as we work out how to do it. So, I don't really know what, no one's asked for this video. Um, we found some of these parts lying around the warehouse. And then I thought, well, we'll list these, we'll put them up for sale. So this is the rear, I guess we're gonna call this the D pillar, are we? A, B, C, D, E, maybe E pillar. So this is the rear E pillar. And we're gonna have a go at putting this on. Now it appears to fit with two little clips that are gonna clip underneath here. And we got three screws that, or oh, fittings that go in there. Can you see that? Rivet. Have we got a visitor come to see us? Do I not recognize this person, Tyler? Right, that was our friend Mo turned up. We've never met him before. I talked to him loads of times. So that was, that was good. Good to see Mo. Right, and all will be revealed in due course what that was all about. But that's all quite exciting, isn't it, Tyler? Right, so we're back on this. We're back on the Evoke. So we are going to work out how to put this. So that's right. I was just showing we've got three. So they must dock under something. We've got the three fixings here. So we've got to take three fixings out. We got Now we've got these little clips at the bottom that hold this trim on. So I think we're going to have to take either this trim off, then that off, or take it all off as a sort of assembly and then separate it. But I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. So we'll have a go. Right then, let's put that safely in there, Tyler, so we look professional. Right then, bam. So we have had a look at this. And all we've worked out, let's take this parcel shelf down, shall we? Give us a bit more access. Boom, there you go. Parcel shelf gone, right. Um, now these clips here, they look at, let me come this side, Tyler, that you've beautifully covered in, seem to be a two-part clip. And they seem to have an inner. Now I've seen these before. and but they haven't given you in anything to get your, your sort of a clip under and extract the middle pin. So what I've had to do before is push those middle pins back in. Um, so let me see how I'm making this up. Well, let me try, let me see if this, now you see that's gone in, look. Now I, I think, I think I actually last time, I think I lost it all the way. Yeah, that's gone in there now, but then I'm, don't worry. But then I think we can, do you think anyone's watching this expecting a highly professional video, Tyler? No. I think they'll be disappointed. Not we're in the back, are you? No. Right. Well, right, so so there we go. So right. indeed it is a two-part rivet and my, my middle bit's gone. You might get away, but no, I think as whatever you do, but there's no way of extracting that forwards, is it? No. It's a, like an anti... Anyway, we'll have a look where it's got to, but that seems a plan. I'm happy with that plan. It's a weird one to use. It is. You could just as easily use the sort of screw type. Or... Yeah, the scrivety type. Right, anyway, they're all gone now. we got a plan, Tyler. And then rip it off. <laughs> and, then, and then we've got, yeah, well, so we've got that bit. I think if you replace these, I would be tempted to look for an alternative fitting although I guess it's you don't need to take it on and off and on and off do you why would you be changing one Tyler not that anyone can hear your reply because I've got the mic um I guess if it's scratched it's got bird poo on it it's damaged this oh, maybe you've cracked something against it right we've definitely got some movement here now haven't we and and this is coming so but, but these clips here, let's swap positions again. It's like musical chairs, Tyler, me and you today. So this, we know those, we know those clips at the back. We know, we know these clips here are docked in that way. So we need to extract it this way, but it's not gonna extract that way with that trim, is it? So I think we might, but the, tr the trim is, I think we need to release the trim. We either release, Mm, I think we're gonna to have to release all of this trim. Right, let's have a look. We're gonna swap positions again. <laughs> I'm thinking, why don't we have a little look? What's that? Lift it up, you reckon? It does stand a bit, sounds a bit brittle, doesn't it? Oh, there, oh look, look, we're in, we're in. Hey, look, 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 look. I reckon I can work that all the way along. Whoa, that, oh, that oh, wasn't too bad, was it? One, it's, a... It's, it's a, 
Yes, but this is this is like a clip. It looks like this is a sort of C section. It's a, the section is a bit like this, and I think it sort of just grips over. So it's 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 got a little lip at the top and a little. I almost want to refit it just to, but that didn't. That was quite satisfying, wasn't it? That is quite well. I've never seen something so well fitted, but it's sort of under engineered, but in a good way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It just yeah. fits. Right, let's put that down. Oh, it's aluminium, that's why. I didn't I didn't even realise that that it was aluminium, so it's an aluminium profile, which is why it holds its shape so well. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we learn every day. Right, we're swapping places again. Right, so now I should be able to pull this back. Oh. Oh. Um look at that, too bad, is it? Right hand. Oh, we love people that. Have I got any spiders or any? Yeah. Oh, I've got some little spiders living there, have I? He's passed the best, isn't he? He's an ex spider. And yeah. oh, we got a little nest of them there, look. There you go. Should we try and fit the new one, Tyler, while we're on? Oh, yeah, so if you wanted to fit some lights on the side, Tyler, we've got some, some grommets we could get in there. Yeah. Right then. So actually, let's clean this. We'll clean this, and then we'll come back. I'm going to put it all back together again. Mind my trim, Tyler. Don't put your size 13s on it. Right, we're going to go and put it back together. I'm going to put the original one back on because I can sell that one because we haven't touched it. So we're going to right, do it just the reverse process. So that's those. What do they? They just grab under yeah. that window, actually, don't they? They're just the window grab. So line it up. It's just a sandwich. Even that just that just slides in there. Um, we've got. I'll get the part number for the clips and put it on the screen. But we can pop those in to hold it for now. Where do the inserts go? Where do, where do where the, the where middle bits? Oh no! They you see, they don't go. Oh, yeah, it's body. They're in, they're in down in the ah, okay. down in the inside somewhere, Tyler. You can offer to get them back, me. <laughs> I do wonder if you could just put a nice stainless steel screw in here. Yeah. Whether it would expand. Expand it out. We could 3D print some. Right then. Put your new clips back in. So yeah, if you get it, get some new clips, obviously. All right, one, two, three. Right, and then the, the bit everyone's waiting to see is whether that whether that panel clips back on. All right, aluminium panel. How do we do? Are we gonna try? Let's have a look at the clip. Does any bit of the clip seem clip seem to offer any more flex? I reckon. I reckon. Get the bottom in and like ride it over that top. Yeah, well, that other ridge is round, isn't it? Yeah, it's got. I reckon it's got a bit more. We'll start at the bottom there. Right. It might be the other way. I'm gonna start at the top. Yeah, that's the way. That's it. Let's get him around this corner. Let's do. That was a weird clip. It's almost not on. Yeah, it is. But it does the job, isn't it? Yeah. That's perfect, look. That is on as solid as it was. Good old Fomo Co. There we go. Right, Ranger at Evoke, E-Pillar. Done.